of him where he would train 20 minutes and then disappear for a few days, come back. He was kind of insinuating that if you're a dedicated fighter, then Eddie's going to be a dedicated trainer. And Ryan had his, um, uh, he said what he said. It, was that a good point in him in the training change? Um, I mean, you're talking to a guy who had six trainers. Um, I I always think that changing trainers is 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 can be beneficial um, because the the important the important person is the fighter. It's not the trainer. You know, as far as I'm concerned, the trainer is like irrelevant. But if you have a trainer today that is going to teach you how to win your next five, six fights, great. And then you want to change another trainer, why not? Mm -hmm. You know, if, you, if, you, if it helps you to, to grow as a fighter and learn different techniques. Um, I see Joe, and I've known Joe since I was like 10, 11 years old. Um, He's, he's a disciplinary. He's, he's like a no-nonsense type of guy. I mean, he'll joke around and you can see him you know, outside the gym, whatever. He's a good guy. But when it comes to training and getting his fighters ready, there's nobody better. And with the clip that I saw of Ryan throwing that power jab, I mean, I, to me, that's it's like match made in heaven. Yeah. The power jab is like the key to everything. Mm -hmm. And when have we seen Ryan throw it? In the past, he's, al he's always been pawing it. His jab is freaking amazing, you know? And mm -hmm. so I, I see some good things coming up for, for Ryan and Joe. Um, I, I see this relationship working out. I can't say how long, because I'm a fighter who changed trainers six times. But uh, for now, it, it's, it's gonna seem to work. 